Okay. Welcome to our Shine On team. Shut the door. Yeah. I am so glad y'all are here and I love seeing your faces. So if I don't see your face soon, better show your video. <laughs> I'm talking to Tasha and Shannon. And who else is on there? Penny? Come on, guys. I want to see your faces. <laughs> no shyness in this team. No way. <laughs> okay. I am going to be different and cool, and we're going to start with a prayer, because you all know that I'm religious, and I'm trying to pray more often, and why not use it during our team call, right? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say it. Our dear Heavenly Father, we're thankful that we could come together as a team. We pray that thou will help us, that thou will guide us, and that thou wilt help us to find those who need these products, and we can be guided by thy hand in our organization and um, in uplifting each other. We're grateful for each other and for the hard work that we put in and that it continue to do meet our goals. And we say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. <laughs> okay. So first, and this is going to go really fast, okay? Because, yeah, but I have so much I want to do. But it's okay. We'll go quick. Um, First, I want to just have a quick, like, two minutes if someone wants to share good news for the week. Like, it doesn't have to be Plexus related. It could be. It could be something like someone on your team who's having amazing results. It could be something happening in your life. Whatever. You don't want to share. Sorry, I have nothing spectacular. It's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, Penny has something. Okay. She just walked in. She's going to share my computer with me. Yay. Um, Not going on the bed. <laughs> yeah. She, um, so she had an ambassador that quit like. Oh, well, six months ago. Or over more. six months ago that messaged her today that wants to restart. Nice. That is good news. I love hearing that. Who is it? Do I get to know who it is? Um, it's Libby. Oh, Libby. Good. Yeah. So it's her husband that was taking it because he has the same disorder that my dad has. Tom. Yeah. Okay. And so, but she's the ambassador, but it's her husband that takes the products. And I guess whatever he's been doing in the meantime isn't doing as much as possible. <laughs> so. Yeah. He wants to start again. <laughs> awesome. I'm excited. They actually went to one of the meetings in Salt Lake um, with Emily. And oh, good. so she got to meet them. Oh, okay. I think I, I vaguely remember that. <laughs> okay. We're going to do a few announcements really quick and then we'll have. Um, I don't, okay. I was going to call you a different name, Nicole. I don't know why. Really? We're going to have Nicole talk after our announcements. So. Real quick, tomorrow and Thursday, hopefully you caught it on our calendar, we have virtual calls at 9 p.m. So, so getting ready for our three-day taste test next week. Um, it doesn't have to be people for that. Like, it can be anybody who comes. But I want you to think about it. I need some of you to help me with it, okay? So I'll be reaching out to you, and it might be out of your comfort zone, but basically it's just explaining a product sharing your story so you think about that getting your courage up <laughs> and then next week tuesday wednesday thursday is our three-day taste test um and i really like having the live testimonials in there so i will be asking y'all to help with that too so get ready to work with me yes i'm gonna be asking a lot of you coming up um super silver I want you all to go for it. And does anyone have any questions about Super Silver? I know they explained it last night, but I just want to real quick ask if you guys had any questions, clarifying questions, or you guys know what it takes? You ready to go Super Silver? Okay. I'm excited. I think it's going to be awesome. Um, Senior Gold Retreat. Who's excited about that? Whoa. <laughs> Come on, let's hear you scream. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. I'm so excited. So just really recap on that is you need seven ambassadors, new ambassadors from now until 
June 30th, I believe. Is that right? I believe so. So that is so doable. Like all of you can do that. And I'm going to do it and we're all going to go. You have to hit senior gold. Um, and then what's the other thing? And get one person to silver. So one level one to silver, seven ambassadors, and then you have to hit senior gold. So that is doable, you guys. Everyone on this call can do that. Every single one of you. Okay. All right. So IPA weekly challenge. I don't know if y'all saw that yesterday. I posted it like midnight or something. So you might have not seen it. But I'm doing a little challenge just this week. I mean, this month. So every week I'm doing like a little IPA challenge and we're basically going to do it in our IPA hour. So if you're not doing the IPA hour, do it during the week. But I have fun prizes. So I'm going to show you the prizes because I think they're fun and I really just want to keep them because I'm selfish, but it's so cute. Okay, so this one is every day is a fresh start. Isn't that cute? I think this would be really cute like in a little office area. And then this is, I like really love this. It's for like your organization, like your uh, planner. So there's little magnets. It says, keep it simple, seize the day, little stickers that say like, let's make plans, um, days of the week stickers. And there's like little tape and a little rubber band for like a bookmark. It's so cute. And then the third week <laughs> is this cute bracelet. I really, really like it. It's like a little magnetic. It's cute. It is cute. So cute. I really like I said, I really just want to keep them up, but I'll share. <laughs> and then this is, and I don't know which week I'm giving which one, so you have to just, <coughs> this is the big grand prize. It's a Google Home Mini. Okay? So it's fun. It's not too hard. I'm making it, like, part of our IPA challenge. So if you come to that, then you'll get it done, and you can, like, be entered to win the prize. Okay. Then our, and then there's also Emily's IPA challenge going on right now. It's five days. It's the create your own luck one. That's awesome too. So I'm trying to do both. Um, you know, just do your best. That one is amazing though, because it has not only IPA reaching out messages, but it also has, um, posting ideas for posting and you know what I mean? So it covers all the bases. So I'm encouraging to do both. Okay, any questions before I turn it over to Nicole? No questions? Okay, the floor is all yours, Nicole. My gosh, okay. <laughs> I feel so honored to be with your team tonight. Wow, so exciting. I absolutely <laughs> love Leah. Um, she and I became friends, um, I don't know how long ago, Leah, but we, we got close pretty fast, hadn't met each other in person, but we started having um, Zoom calls with each other each month and, you know, kind of challenging each other and helping each other set goals. And this has been something that's been super um, helpful in my business. So I would suggest you guys to make a friend if you haven't in this business, because there's lots of Plexus friends out there, make a friend and run with them, meet with them and, and share ideas and challenge each other. Okay, so um, first of all, my name's Nicole. I know uh, Tiffany and Penny and Shannon on here, but there's a few of you that I don't know yet. So I'll quick um, just <clears throat> tell a little bit of my health story, but then I'll mostly talk about um, the business tonight. <coughs> so um, I started Plexus almost two years ago. It'll be two years in April. And um, I have always been super active, you know, really into working out, eating healthy. And I started having some issues that I hadn't dealt with before. I had some bloating, I had some tummy pains, um, I had some anxiety, poor sleep at night, that kind of stuff. And I thought, all I need to do is work out and eat healthy, right? And I should be fine. And so I, I would do those things, I'd work out really hard and I'd eat really good, but I'd still have those issues. And um, so what I came to find out, you know, is that it's probably a gut related um, issue going on or, you know, blood sugar balance, that kind of thing. Um, I had had some blood work done. My husband is a PA and doctor of medical science. And um, he had done some, some blood work on me and he said, okay, I think you need some anxiety medication and you need some IBS medication. 
but I don't want to prescribe them to you because of possible side effects. And so that's when he and I started researching um, natural health alternatives and were super impressed with what we found with Plexus and with the ingredients and um, with the business itself as well. So um, he and I both started, we got ordered a double welcome pack and we started um, two years ago. And you know, my um, journey wasn't you know, one of those that was super fast. It was about six weeks in that I started noticing like my bloating was gone, my stomach pains were starting to go down. But it was truly after month five when I went through a pretty hairy detox. After that, I was like, oh my goodness, I am not dealing with this IBS anymore with the anxiety. And I noticed that I had more mind clarity and patience for my kids. And so um, when people, you know, just try it for a few months, it makes me so sad when they stop and they didn't see such a big difference because we all know that when you're consistent and when you take these products with time, you are gonna see really good results. And so I'm thankful that I gave Plexus the time that it needed to, to heal my body. Um, okay, so on the business side of this, oh, I'm getting kind of hot, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna take it off, <laughs> make it nervous. <laughs> Got my nose out here and everything. <laughs> um, so um, I, when I started taking the products, I kind of felt like, I, I, was, I was nervous and skeptical. I was very, very skeptical. And especially my husband was very, very skeptical, but there was just something telling me that this was special. There was something special about Plexus. And so from the get go, I actually started posting about it. You know, something totally out of the norm for me, something very um, scary for me to do, but I did it because I felt like there was, there was a bigger purpose in this. So I hit silver within my first week and a half. Um, gold I hit within three months. And then it took me eight months to hit senior gold. I hit senior gold um, last March 2017. And then it took me two months after that to hit ruby. I hit ruby in May convention last year. And that was something really, that was really special to be at convention and be able to hit ruby. So that was super cool. But I have stayed at Ruby since then. It's been, you know, you, you get a lot of people that come on and fall off and come on and fall off. And it's just been like a, a constant building process for me. Um, you know, it's not something that's been super easy. I know, as you guys know, you're going to have really great days, but you're going to have days that suck, right? I mean, you're just going to have days that suck. You're going to have down days. Um, also, you know, a, a lot of fear. I, I get these um, things coming into my mind, you know, telling me that maybe this just isn't for me. You shouldn't do this. You're not that good, that kind of thing. Um, but I've had to do a lot of um, self-talk, a, a lot of, you know, positivity. One book that I really um, love that, that really helped me with my thinking was um, What to Say to Yourself. Or what, what is that, Leah? How, what? Um, what to Say When You Talk to Yourself. Oh, yes. Exactly. Yep. Yep. That's the one. So, you know, you're going to have setbacks. You're going to have people, you know, that, that quit the product. Um, but um, I know that God is on our side. He is on our side. And it's just Satan that is telling you those little lies in your head. And so it's super important to put on those big girl or big boy pants and um, reset, readjust restart and refocus as many times as, as you've had as you have to because um i set goals that i thought for sure were attainable and they just didn't happen and so I've, I've had to do a lot of resetting readjusting and that's okay because my journey is my journey and i know sometimes it's hard to to put those blinders on and 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 not look at other people and think that they're going so much faster than you or they're doing so much better than you but each one of us has our own special journey. And what I feel truly, you guys, what I've come to learn, our why is, is important, it's big. You know, my why when I started was to get healthier. And then my why was to bring more, more money in for our family. But what I found that that is not enough. Our purpose is what 
is big and what's going to drive us. Like our, our why is great, but our purpose is even bigger. So I really feel that like Plexus is not in our life by accident. And so I don't know if you're like, you know, religious, you guys are religious. Most of you are, I think. And I just truly believe that God's hand is in this work. And, you know, I, I feel like there's so much more than just getting healthy and earning money. We are in this to inspire people. We're in this to love people. We are showing people just by doing what we're doing that we are courageous. There is only 2% of people who will do what we're actually doing. And, you know, they might think that it looks good and might think about doing it, but they don't dare do it. And they have fears. But what they don't know is that we fear too. But we are the ones that are more willing to step outside that comfort zone and to do it scared. Um, so I really feel that you're, um, you're where you're supposed to be. This is the right place for you. You're supposed to be with this team. You're supposed to be with this, your particular sponsor, whoever you're with. And that we just need to continue to push forward, to be consistent. I think that consistency has been my number one helper in my business. Just continually, continually be consistent and continue to do it scared. <laughs> um, I just feel like you guys have so much love and so much light to share with others and just know that your why is good, but your purpose is even greater. So three things that I just wanted to, you guys to take from this little thing tonight. I don't even know <laughs> if I've made any sense, but the three things is number one is to reset your goals. If you have to readjust, refocus as many times as you need to. And number two is to stay consistent. And number three is to know that your why is good, but your purpose to love and inspire is so much greater than you can even envision. Thank you so much, Nicole. That was so good. I need, I'm, I'm writing this down. The, what are the, the R's? Readjust. What's the first one? Reset, readjust, refo and refocus as many times as you need to. I love that. I have to write it down. Yes, that's so important. Every day. It's like, you need that. That's why I loved this when I saw it because you need that every day is a fresh start because you have to have that mindset with this business, especially when you've had, you know, a downer day where it's like, uh, someone's, you know, called me out and, or someone is shut off or, you know, they're, yeah. they're definitely downer days, but every day is a fresh start. <laughs> ah, that was so good. And Nicole and I have seen our, down and dirty sides of each other where we're just like so negative and you know it's good to like get a buddy like that because it's so there, helpful. there's yeah. good and bad and we've seen each other's teams go forward and backwards and forwards and backwards and it's it's just it's hard but it's worth it and the purpose is what's the most important part okay so lastly and I kind of not wanting to do this but I felt like inspired to do this um, part of being a good leader is being vulnerable, right? And one of my, um, one of my passions is music. So I decided, and I've, I don't think I've ever done this on team call, but, um, a song that really inspired me is the greatest showman a million dreams. And you might've seen like, that's the title of Brooke and Emily's like, levels one through three group anyways it's because of that song and it's amazing and I literally fell in love with the song before I even saw the movie like honestly I was let down by the movie just a little bit because the songs were like idolized in my mind <laughs> okay it was still a good movie but I just love the songs so I'm going to sing just a little part of the song really quick and just listen to the words um I have like the accompaniment on here so I don't know if you'll be able to hear it but we'll see. <laughs> Close my eyes and I can see the world that's waiting up for me that I call my own. 
Through the dark, through the door, through where no one's been before, but it feels like home. Maybe you can say it all sounds crazy. They can say, they can say I've lost my mind. I don't care, I don't care, so call me crazy. We can live in a world that we design. Cause every night I lie in bed, the brightest colors fill my head. A million dreams are keeping me awake. I think of what the world could be, a vision of the one I see. A million dreams is all it's gonna take. A million dreams for the world we're gonna make. That's on thing. <laughs> How do I mute this one? <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so I don't like to sing for people because especially <laughs> because I get emotional. So I was like almost crying. But we'll show you guys this this plexus thing. It is crazy. It's totally crazy. Like it's totally crazy. This song talks about how crazy it is. And it is. But it's like amazing. And it just it there's so much there's so much hope and there's so much life and there's so much like inspiration. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I was trying to convey that to you. And I, that's one of my songs. I have a whole list of songs that I like get me going, you know what I mean? And that's one of them. And so if you have a day where you're just like, oh, why am I doing this? <laughs> Cause I have them. I have them too. Just go listen to music because it is so inspiring. And so uh, I just, I just want to share that with you guys tonight. And thanks for hanging in there with me. <laughs> and I know, you know, as a leader, I have a lot to grow. And so I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. Um, I did want to mention really quick before we end that, you know, there is going to be, I'm trying to kind of do our own thing as a team, but I still want to utilize um, a lot of stuff that Emily does because it's amazing, obviously. So, so while we're trying to become a team ourselves, you know, it might feel a little overwhelming because there's so much going on, but, um, just know that, you know, you can pick and choose, but it's, it's important to be doing posting and, and IPA, um, and reaching out. So, and personal development is super key also, <laughs> but all right. Well, thank you guys. Oh, Shannon, you sent me a little message. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, um, so we're starting our IPA hour in four minutes. So if you're going to stay on, I'm just going to keep it on here. Um, in, but if you're not staying on, that's fine. You can head out, but it gives you a few minutes to prepare, you know, if you needed to write down a list or anything. And thanks, Nicole, again, for coming. You're the best. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop recording. <laughs>